Hello, this is Gwyneth Psychic Isaacs here. I'm here filming this podcast today because I've got a word that God has given me to share with all of you. You know, I'm sitting here in my beautiful garden. It's all so lovely and lush and green because God's just given me a gift of growing stuff, you know. And, um... This is Geraldton, it's right at the end of summer, the beginning of autumn actually, officially the second day of autumn. Anyway, God has given me a word that I've got to share with all of you. And this is what he's given me. I can see an airport. And I can see, here's something coming over the PA of this airport and there's something like this final boarding call for flight 777 to heaven departing now this is the final boarding call for flight 777 to heaven boarding now and I believe that's pretty significant because This really is the final call before the rapture. The bridegroom is at the door, almost. The bridesmaids have to wake up, fill their lamps, trim the wicks. And if you've run out of oil, well, that's just too bad. You'll have to see if you can get some more in time, but I don't think you'll be able to. Now, God spoke to me and this is what he said. He said that he's going to give everybody what they want. He is going to... There's basically um, just a few groups of people out there in this world. There's atheists, people who don't believe in God at all. There's various types of spiritual people okay spirit-filled Christians and other people who have to do with the Holy Spirit and you know something they are the ones who are restraining wickedness on this earth the people who know about the Holy Spirit and who let the Holy Spirit work through them you know that's why I what I try to do in my life is just cooperate with the Holy Spirit and it's not always going out there and you know kicking the devil's butt and all that sort of stuff Um, it's not you know most of it is just being a good and kind and loving person you know and actually caring about people and you know being a good-hearted person and if you're a good-hearted person and you know about the Holy Spirit then he motivates you to do good things all the time and that really ties the devil up in knots because he wants us all fighting each other the devil does and when you see somebody who loves the Holy Spirit you know not just a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant Christian Pentecostal whatever you know often they think that they have the Holy Spirit what they have is a whole lot of pride you know there's my pigeons beautiful pigeons I love my pigeons symbol of the Holy Spirit But the Holy Spirit's known to the Native Americans, he's known to the Maoris, he's known to the Egyptians, he's known to the whole world in every culture. Anyway, when he's taken out of this world, every person who loves the Holy Spirit, now it's important that you don't get me wrong here, okay? It's very, very important that I'm not misunderstood here. The rapture 
is not any human being doing. Okay? We're not talking about something that is done by people or to people. Okay? We're talking about something that is just um, a supernatural miracle of God. What the Holy Spirit's going to do is, is according to conventional Christian doctrine, that he is going to take the people who are working with him and cooperating with him out of this world and he is going to put them into another realm and it's going to be his doing, not the doing of any human being. It's very important that that be noted. This is not some sort of stupid thing, okay, of people taking themselves out of the way. You know, we're all meant to do the work that we have to do until, you know, we are taken out of this world. And the Bible says that this is, this, this is not a thing about death, you know. But the people in that day who are cooperating with the Holy Spirit, they won't die. They will not die. They will just be put in another place. And how that's going to happen, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to happen. But there's a whole lot of people out there who think that they don't need the Holy Spirit to defeat the New World Order. Well, God's going to give them a chance to defeat the New World Order without the Holy Spirit. But, they are going to fail. Because they think that we're fighting a flesh and blood battle. It's not a flesh and blood battle. This is a battle of spirit. And it's fought with spiritual weapons. It's not a battle of flesh and blood and swords and guns. That is not how this sort of battle is fought. This battle is fought using the whole armour of God that is spoken about in Ephesians chapter 6. That's what this is speaking about. The people who hate the New World Order but don't have the Holy Spirit working through them are going to be given a chance to fight the New World Order on their own. But they're going to lose and the mark of the beast system is going to come in and those people are going to be forced to give up their very lives as is prophesied in Revelation chapter 13 if anyone wants to go and look that up. Look it up for yourself. Bibles are still common enough. You know. The mark of the beast is coming. It's probably going to come within a month or two of the restrainers being taken out of the way, which is the people who love the Holy Spirit, who cooperate with the Holy Spirit from every nation and every culture all over the earth. I am a psychic. It's been years. I started out doing Bible prophecy, but it's been years since I've done Bible prophecy. But I've always loved God. I've always loved the Holy Spirit. You know, I think probably this is why I like pigeons so much. There we go. Beautiful pigeons. Aren't they lovely? They're my pigeons. I love my pigeons. You know, he's busy having a bit of a wash. But that's what the Holy Spirit's like. The Holy Spirit doesn't speak loudly. He just says a little groo, groo, in your ear. And he just minds his own business most of the time, doing what he does. Spreading fertility and love and joy and peace and happiness all over the earth. 
Now all good things. That's what's going to happen. The atheists are also going to get what they want, which is a world without God. They've always wanted a world without God. Now they're going to get it. See how far they get. I don't think they'll get very far somehow. The people who love God and cooperate with the Holy Spirit are going to get what they want which is an eternity in heaven with God. And the people who want to suffer for Jesus are also going to get what they want too. Because the mask system, the beast system, is going to give everybody who wants to suffer for Jesus a really good opportunity to suffer for Jesus. And I'm not putting these people down because they love Jesus. They just don't realize that, you know, the Holy Spirit would really rather not see his bride suffer. The bride of Christ is absolutely beautiful. She really has made her robe spotless and white. In the last year, I have just seen so many people get it with regards to God and the Holy Spirit and all the rest of it. It's been wonderful to watch. You know, that's what the Bride of Christ is like, a date palm. She really is. She's beautiful. You know, this date palm is a fountain of life. It produces fruit which feeds Multitudes of birds provides a nesting place, a place for shelter and rest. That's what the Bride of Christ is like. Yeah, and I've always loved the Bride. Always loved the Bride of Christ. Getting back to it, I'm a psychic. Most of the time these days I do tarot cards and astrology. Just starting to learn I Ching. But I started out doing Bible prophecy. You know and prophesying words from the Holy Spirit. Do you know something? It really doesn't matter because the Holy Spirit is the one who puts the carts in the proper place. But he is also the one who sets the stars in their course. He is also one who controls Every so-called random process, like the tossing of coins, the tossing of dice that people use for divination. That he is in control of all of this. If you look at this, it's such boggling, boggling complexity of nature. You know, just immense, complex, interwoven web of life here. Yeah, there's comfrey. Oh, we've got a plum tree. You know, all sorts of bananas and all sorts here. But do you know something? Holy Spirit made it all. You know, that He is the original Creator. It was by his power that the Father established the whole universe. So it really doesn't matter if you follow a spiritualist course or if you follow um, any course as long as you seek the love and the power of God and you love the name of Jehovah Shua. Because all nations all through the world, all of them know about Jehovah Shua, Yahshua. I've studied very many indigenous religions and have not come across any where the name of the Divine Son and the name of the Holy Spirit and the name of the Heavenly Father is not known. 
They may have different names in different cultures because different languages have different ways of saying things. But if you look back into the meaning of the word in its own language, it comes back to the same set of attributes. There is a divine, benevolent God in heaven who loves us all. He's got a benevolent son. And his son came and died for all of us. And he has a Holy Spirit who motivates the hearts of men to do good things to each other. You know, this is the word that I've got today. That this is the final boarding call for 777 to go to heaven. And I'm not going to miss this place. Because this is a pale, pale, pale example of the garden that is waiting for me in heaven. I love my garden. You know, I really, really love my garden. But compared to the garden in heaven, it's absolutely pale in comparison to the garden that I have in heaven. My heavenly garden is quite amazing. You know. Anyway, I've been going for over 15 minutes now. So I guess I'd better call it a day. I intend doing the work that the Holy Spirit has given me to do, doing readings for people, and so on and so forth, until the very day when I hear that archangel shout, and I hear the voice of the trumpet of God, and I hear that voice saying, Come up here, good and faithful servant. You know, I'm going to be that good and faithful servant. I'm just going to help people. I've got my own battles to fight here on the earth. I've got no intention of running away from any fights that God gives me to fight here on this earth. But when that day comes, I'll happily let go of it all. When that day comes, it's not going to be very long at all. Yep. And what a wonderful day that will be. Anyway, you all have a good day. There's my lovely garden. Kids playing in the background, you know. Olive tree. Hello, Olive. And I shall see you all later. Bye.